The International Trade Center is a subsidiary organization of the World Trade Organization and the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development and provides trade-related technical assistance, whereas the WTO mainly deals with the rules of international trade and UNCTAD with research and advocacy. ITC's mandate is far more narrow as it is solely concerned with helping developing and transition economies to promote their exports. The pure focus on technical assistance is rare within the UN system as most other organizations that provide technical assistance usually engage in multiple areas and kinds of assistance. ITC has its headquarters in Geneva and one field office in Mexico City. History ITC is the successor of the International Trade Information Center, which the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade established in 1964 for the purpose of assisting the export promotion efforts of the developing countries by providing them with information on export markets and marketing, and to help them develop their export promotion services and train the personnel needed for these services, in an effort to streamline the United Nations export promotion efforts. An agreement was reached between the GATT, which at that time and in contrast to its successor, the WTO, was part of the United Nations system, and the newly established UNCTAD, to merge the activities of the two organizations by creating a joint subsidiary. The agreement was reached in 1967 and the International Trade Center was officially established on 1 January 1968. Technical Assistance Offering ITC's service offering is nowhere described in a systematical way. Thus, the following description necessarily contains inaccuracies. ITC offers numerous different services to its beneficiaries. In doing so it differentiates between three groups of target beneficiaries. Policymakers trade support institutions and enterprises. Some services are specifically designed for one of these groups while others have a universal character. In principle, there is no predefined list of services that ITC is limited to. Services are being developed depending on requests of beneficiary countries or donors. Since the latest major restructuring between 2006 to 2009, ITC itself categorizes its services in five thematic clusters called business lines, export strategies, business and trade policy, trade support institution strengthening, export to competitiveness, and trade intelligence. In addition to falling into one of these business lines, each of ITC's services can be categorized according to the way it is being provided, i.e., as a publication, trade intelligence database, capacity building, or advisory service. For illustration purposes, capacity building in the area of exporter competitiveness could represent a training to enterprises about how to overcome technical barriers to trade and a database in the area of trade intelligence could represent an online database for international trade in goods and services. Global Public Goods Thanks to the support from donors to ITC Trust Fund and the European Commission, ITC created a suite of market analysis tools including Trade Map, Market Access Map and Standards Map to help users investigate the trade-related information of over 220 countries and territories. Since 1 January 2008, the market analysis tools suite became a global public goods and all users from least developed and developing countries and territories have been able to access the tools free of charge. Trade map an interactive online database on international trade statistics. It presents indicators on export performance, international demand, alternative markets and the role of competitors from both the product and country perspective. TradeMap is considered one of the world's biggest trade databases as it covers trade flows of over 220 countries and territories and 5,300 products, defined at the two four or six digit level of the harmonized system. Users can choose to see the data either with pre-calculated trade indicators or in time series from 2001 onward. In 2012, TradeMap, in collaboration with Compass, 
included company contact information module to help companies identify trading partners in 64 countries, trade map sources yearly data from UNCO, MTRADE and collect monthly data directly from national statistics bureaus or customs authorities. Market Access Map and Analytical Web Application that serves the Millennium Development Goals efforts the aim of enhancing market access transparency and facilitating the analysis of trade policy issues. Market Access Map, also known as MacMap, presents a comprehensive information on the different types of barriers that affect international trade such as applied customs tariffs. Ad valorem equivalents, tariff rate quotas, trade remedies, rules of origin, certificate of origin, bound tariffs of WTO members and non-tariff measures. Market access map is used by both economic operators to find information on market requirements and trade policy makers to prepare for trade negotiations. By 2015, Market Access Map includes MFN and preferential tariffs of over 190 countries as well as non-tariff measures data for approximately 70 countries. It recently became available in French and Spanish in response to growing number of active users from Latin America and Africa. Executive Directors ITC had since its creation in 1964 six executive directors. Twice in its history the position was vacant. In the early 70s and the early 90s, ITC's executive director is a senior international civil servant of the United Nations with the level of assistant secretary general. ITC's executive director as well as the deputy executive director are appointed by the heads of its two parent organizations, the director general of the WTO and the secretary general of the UNCTAD.